today's short video I want to talk about Windows 11 system requirements and this is what I found out about it they said that it, some of the restrictions were lifted so older computers can install Windows 11 but from Microsoft's website these are the system requirements for Windows 11 These requirements are not so important, like processor, RAM, storage, firmware, system firmware, BIOS, graphics card to display. The only thing that is that will permit uh, prevent older computers from installing Windows 11 is TPM feature, because a lot of computers that were built before 2015 don't have TPM 2.0 on it so this is the biggest uh, hurdle that you will probably have from installing Windows 11 however I was able to install Windows 11 on this computer which is which has an i7-4790K processor in it. This motherboard is a, like a it's an ASUS uh, Z97 Pro pros, uh, motherboard. As you can see here, you see that uh, your version of Windows 11 has reached end of service. Click to download a newer version of Windows 11 to stay supported. Okay, so I click on this. I'm not able to, I haven't been able to get updates for many months. And today is January 18th, 2025. And I'm still really not able to get all the updates. That's, that's why it's saying this your device is missing important security updates make sure to keep your device on and plugged in so updates can complete well obviously some of the security features require um, tpm 2.0 which this motherboard does not have Even it says right here, it still requires TPM 2.0. This has a, a UEFI BIOS. It has everything that is um, required, but it doesn't have TPM 2.0. And I typed in Windows 11 restriction lifted. I heard about this, but I really didn't know what it was. It says on April 15, 2024. Microsoft has finally lifted a compatibility hold blocking Windows 10 users from updating to Windows 11. Well, you know what? I was able to do this before by using a, using a hack. I was able to get Windows 11 on this computer, which doesn't have TPM 2.0. It says Microsoft has relaxed some restrictions on Windows 11, allowing users to install on systems that don't meet the minimum requirements however microsoft warned that these installations may be unstable and may not receive updates just like this is not receiving updates which restrictions have been lifted tpm 2.0 microsoft loosened the requirement of for tpm 2.0 allowing users to install windows 11 on systems that don't have it there's another one called intel smart sound technology driver microsoft lifted a compatibility hold that prevents some windows 10 systems from upgrading to windows 11. this issue was resolved by updating the sst driver to version 10.30.00.5714 or later okay but i was able to install this with a hack but 
I guess now you're able to install Windows 11 without doing the hack. Still, I'm not able to get all the updates. And now we hear this on December 13th. Microsoft has not reversed course on Windows 11 hardware requirements. A furry of inflammatory headlines this week insisted that Microsoft has raised the white flag and would allow customers to upgrade old Windows 10 PCs to Windows 11. That, that's not true. Here's how the comedy of errors unfolds. It's already hard to identify patient zero and what would be incidents, but as far as I can tell, that honor goes to German PC Welt, its US sister publication, PC World Translated. The article for the audience, despite years of warning, it's now officially possible to install Windows 11 on PCs that don't meet requirements. Okay. That stuff. But still, I'm not able to get updates. So this, having Windows 11 on this computer is pretty meaningless, even though I was able to do it. <laughs> so it's, without the updates, it's, it's, it's pretty worthless. Your, your computer is not safe in other words that's what i want to share with you today if you have any thoughts please leave it in the comment section below thank you for watching